Hey guys, how's it going? I'm gonna do a little video here uh, of the front suspension of my bug. I need to determine my uh, my chassis height off the ground at like normal running conditions, and then I want to find out how close it comes to the ground when the suspension is at full compression, and then I want to find out how much actual travel I have now that I've got bump stops installed and all that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a measurement of the chassis off the ground at right height, which is where it's at now. Then I'm going to crank it up and I'm going to take the springs off of the shocks on the, both sides of the front here. Then with my jack, I'm going to jack it all the way up, find out where the shocks limit, take a measurement of the chassis off the ground. Um, then I'm going to lower it all the way down until I touch the bump stops and I'm going to take a measurement of the chassis off the ground. Then I'm going to uh, crank the chassis back up a little bit. I'll take the tires off and I'm just gonna cycle the suspension through its full travel. And I'm gonna measure straight up and down from the ground how much actual travel I have at the wheel. So here's how I am going to measure the actual travel. This has nothing to do with my chassis height or anything like that. This is just a rough number so that I know in my head how much travel my suspension is giving me. So I've got, right now the, uh, the suspension is hanging down as far as it can. Now one day it will hang down a little bit less because I don't have my limiting straps installed yet, but for me just to get some ideas of where this suspension that I designed is at. I've got the coil springs off. It's not sitting on this jack at all. The wheel is off. This is sitting as low as it can. So I'm gonna take a measurement here, which is roughly 12 and a half. I'm gonna write that down. Then I'm just gonna pick this up all the way up until it hits the bump stop. Then I'm going to take another reading going straight up and down from the center, which is 27 and a quarter. I'll write that down. 12 and a half, 27 and a quarter. That gives me 15 and a quarter inches of actual travel. So we got a lot of good data out of that. Um, taking the measurements, I found out that, I wrote everything down like you should. I found out that at full droop, which is where I had the chassis jacked up all the way right until the wheels were starting to come off the ground, I had 23 inches between the ground and underneath the chassis. Then, at full comp then, then we took the springs off, and then at full compression, sitting on the bump stops, I was at 8.5 inches and then at ride height which is right about where it is now I've got 16 inches 
So 8.5 inches at full compression is a little better than what I expected. I was thinking it was going to be 8 to 12, so it was on the low end of my spectrum. But I'd like it to be about 3. At about 3 inches, I am just high enough off the ground for the tires. So that means I'm giving up about 5 inches. Um, now, I designed the whole front suspension. Unfortunately, when I designed the front suspension, I designed the droop so that just at the droop, uh, everything was just not binding. So that's why I, that's how I set the droop, and that's great. I'm very happy with that. However, I set the upper limit, the upper limit, the compression, right where the uh, tires were even with the fenders. Now in hindsight, because what I'm going to end up doing anyways is cutting some of the fenders back so that the tires will actually go past the fenders. That's how I should have done it the first way because in order to change my travel, I need to change the angle of my shock absorbers and where they connect at the control arms, which means I would have to modify or just remake my lower control arms and I would have to remake the upper control arm because if the shock is leaning farther back, I'm gonna have to clearance more out of there. So that's a lot of work. I'm not gonna do that right now. It's not the end of the world that it's got 8.5 inches at full compression. I just wish that it came down a little bit more because that would also give me a couple more inches of travel. But at this point, I'm just gonna move on and, and work on some other aspects of the, uh, of the bug. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching that. I hope it helped you out a little bit, maybe, and uh, hope to see you on the next video. Thanks.